Swap to the Riverside Stadium. Uh, start with A Middlesbrough against Sunderland. Both team news has been announced. Uh, but we've gone, well, slightly unchanged. I've just changed a uh, friend for Fabio after Fabio got injured against Hull. Uh, here's hoping but we can make it three wins out of three. Because I've got to say, a couple of weeks ago, <coughs> I was very much monk out. But, uh, you know, two wins have changed that. And now, hopefully, we can uh, get on track and be in the playoffs, get an international break, and that'd be very surprising. But, hey, I'm not, I'm not going to moan if we win today. Every win's a win, and three out of three would be absolutely fantastic going into international break. So, fingers crossed. I'm going to be on a break soon, next to you, if you're looking. And when I get drunk, I'm going to be on a break soon, next to you, if you're looking. Sunderland game. Middlesbrough managed to win 1 0 in the first, this season's first Tees Weir derby. Uh, the game itself wasn't wasn't that good. It was it was very dull. Uh, you could tell it was a proper derby game. You know, form went straight out the window. Borough did not at all play like they'd uh, they've done in the last few games. You know, you know, sloppy in possession, giving the ball away. Uh, Sunderland were just very poor. You can see why they're bottom of the table and why they've sat their manager. Uh, it, it, you know they they just looked like a lot of nothing. They couldn't they couldn't get they couldn't get going, and neither could we really. You know we got a goal, and I thought after that we could go on and get two or three goals. You know it was it was that's the way the game was opening up. But then Billy Jones got injured for Sunderland, and uh, that seems to just take the sting and the temper out of the game. Uh, you know those things do happen, and for some reason an injury was a game changer moment in the game really. But uh, we could have had a few more goals. Second half, Braithwaite had a chance at one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, I think it was a one-on-one -on -one anyway that he missed. Uh, there was another chance well when he, he broke through and he got tackled on the edge of the box. Which I think, it, it, look, from where I was, I thought he was the last man and should have been a red card. But, you know, it didn't happen. And from the free kick down in, got it saved. I think for Borough, really, my man of the match today has to be the keeper, Randolph. I thought he was absolutely outstanding. He made a... Great, well, I say great double save. It was a great reaction save because there was a chance in the first half, just very early on, where someone had a pot shot and he, he spilled it. And Lewis Graben, I think it was, had his shot. And what a good save it was from Randolph. Uh, and he made a few more good saves in that first half, and he really kept us in the game. I think defensively we looked we looked solid. Uh, friend had a bit of a poor start, but uh, he he, re he recovered well like the rest of the team. 
Foot midfield were a bit sloppy in possession. Ledbetter and House were a bit sloppy, but the, you know they were good in the tackle. They were cycling the ball, they were winning it for us. Fought down and was absolutely superb today. I thought in possession he was he was really good. He didn't lose the ball, he didn't give it away. He did his job. Tavernier, what can I say about him? He was just unbelievable. You know, a young lad at eighteen having to be put on that uh, left hand side against all them all them Sunderland fans in the first half, and he handled the pressure immensely and got himself a goal. Second half didn't really have much to do, but you know, he, he did his job, he did well, he was good defensively again, you wouldn't think he's only 18. And then up front, I think, worst player on the pitch probably Aston Belonga today. Didn't put in that kind of performance we should would be expecting from him in the last few games. But uh, next to him, Brave Freight was unbelievable, every touch. You know, he was beating his men, he, his passing was immense. So yeah, all in all, it was, a, it, was a, it was a dull game, but individually I think the players did play well, they grafted out the performance. I think Monk sides will have to step it up next time against Leeds because we played that against Leeds, we will get beat. But uh, yeah, all in all, good one 0 win. You can't really complain. Uh, Derby win, bragging rights till next time. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.